So the next topic is pretty straightforward too. It's just talking about the users of the accounting information. And so those users are going to, there's going to be two main types of users. Did you get all this? Yeah. So there's going to be two main types. There's going to be the external users and the internal. And so with that, it's pretty straightforward, but what do you think are some examples of external users? Mm -hmm. Would it be like, I don't know, that was a homework, like president of the union, because it's not mm -hmm. in the company? The union could be external. Um, some more examples are government, mm -hmm. whether it's actual government that's making laws or if it's um, government that's making sure that you're doing it correctly or that you have to pay taxes. Um, who are some internal users? Would you say the stockholders, like owners? Um, with those, yes. Or no, the stockholders are going to be external users because they're not really in the company. Mm -hmm. Technically, they're owners, but they're not actually doing stuff within the company. And so, internal users. A main one is going to be like managers. Because managers can take that information and actually do something with it. Whereas like the stockholders, they just get the information, they're like, okay, I want to invest or stop investing in this company. So we have managers, um, supervisors, finance directors, company officers. So anybody that's really within the company and can make a change because of it. So another big one on the external is going to be banks. Because banks are going to want to, you're going to want to get a loan from the bank, and so they need to use your information to see if it's worth it. So you would say customers is more external than? Mm -hmm. Yep, customers would be external. So the internal list is pretty short, because it's just Mm -hmm. Any supervisors, leaders, anybody in a position to actually do something with that info. Mm -hmm. 